Right, hi everyone, Paul Dan here at CCRV. Welcome to the channel. Uh, we're going to do a video today on leaks in fifth wheels, travel trailers and motorhomes and how you come to get leaks. And generally it's through lack of maintenance. This is the problem. They don't leak for no reason. You know, it's like a house. If you don't clean the gutters out, if you don't maintain windows, putties, painting, it's going to leak over time. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a walk around and tell you maybe three, four reasons why they leak. Right, the first one is, we've got one here, is off of our rental fleet. And if you see along here, Dave, if you get in a bit closer, if you see along here, where this flashing goes onto the bodywork, it's sealed with a putty. Now what will happen, with it moving, all of this flexes, that's why it's a putty. And so what you do, you get a bit of water in there, it'll freeze, it'll pop out. This is over time, right? So you have to maintain these. They want scraping out and resealing. If you can't do it, we can do it. If you don't, this is what happens. Eventually, it will part. See that? It will part. You can see where the silicon is. Now that's fine when it's static. But if you're going along the road and it's all moving, that's why we've just done a little bit of a video of one guy along, Dave sat inside the trailer. So I don't know what happened, he wasn't ill, so it'll be all right. But there's one reason. If you don't maintain these seals with silicon once a year, they want raking out or inspecting. You know, worst ways, inspect the seals. Right, here's a second reason. This is one of the slide outs. Now, some people get a little bit of damp in the floor under here and they think it's coming from wherever, through the ceiling, it can't. What happens, it comes down here, what we'll do later on, I'll get a bucket of water and we'll throw it on there and you'll see it, it'll all run down here. Now what we've got here, again, lack of maintenance, again, this is one of our rentals, so we will get around to doing this. Can you see the way this is fitted? Now what will happen, water will run down inside there. So again, you have to maintain these seals over the years, with it moving, flexing, it's going to leak. Water will go behind there and it will go, if you look under there Dave, it will go in here and it will get into the floor. Although it's all plastic covered so you won't get any water normally, you know what water's like, it seems to get in anywhere. So this just needs releasing on the screws, feed the silicon in there and screw it back and then you're good for another year or two. But these are the things that have to be looked at on these. People complain, oh, you know, they get water ingress. They only do through lack of maintenance. This is a solid sheet of fiberglass. It's not going to leak through there. It's going to leak through these seals. So it's down to maintenance. Right, that's that one. Right, this is the... Put your lead up there, Dave, that's it. That's it, so you can see me. Right, this is the third seal, right, that needs inspecting. We're now on top of the slide. Now what happens is there is a tilt on these roofs. So what happens... I've got some water here for demonstration purposes. So if you pour water on this, you see the slope? So it will run down here. Can you see that? So there's a tilt on these, so that's when you, you know, when you're putting it on a campsite, you know, just make sure that the thing's level, the van's level, but you can see that. So if it's pouring with rain, it will come down here and it will flow off that corner, you see? Now this seal here is very important. Again, you can see where that seal's on there. This all needs to be well siliconed. It's just yearly maintenance and inspections. People think these are just built forever, to last forever, but they do move and they do flex when you're going along the road. And after all, this is just a sealing band. So, so like I say, you can see the water, right? So that, you see that on the roof of the slide. It, it ends up down here, and then you can see, if I pour a bit more, you can see where it comes down here. It'll fall over here, and it'll fall off the side, all the way down there, and down that one there. See that seal down there? This is why it's important that these get maintained. Right, while we're up here, Dave, you see the, see the seal on the, on the slides there? That's fine, that's all weatherproof, that's the idea to stop the water going in the van. And if you look up at the gutters here, Dave, you can see they're probably full of muck. Are they full of muck? Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, a but, bit, but... but they need cleaning out because there's spouts at the end, so the water comes off of the roof, goes down that gutter and off the spouts. If you don't maintain them, 
you'll get problems. That's as simple as that. It is not a manufacturer's fault. It is not a shoddy build. It is lack of maintenance. So I kind of emphasize that more. If you can't do it yourselves, give us a ring at CCRV once a year, or depending on your usage, come and see us and we can take care of all of this for you. The fourth thing, I think we're on the fourth, quickly Dave, before the battery runs out, these windows. What they are, they put a mastic in there, they put the window in, and it screws all the way around, pulls it tight. There's a mastic bead, and a rubber seal all the way around. Now, we have had a few problems where, again, the windows flex, Nothing is foolproof. When people manufacture these, they run around with a, with a silicon gun, silicon them up. In some places, it's thicker than, than others. So over time, if the whole thing's moving, freezing, getting wet, ice cold, this can expand, this can crack, crack the silicon. You'll get a drip, it'll go inside the wall. Then you'll get water. So again, it's maintenance. You know, as I say, you can't buy a house and, and not maintain it, or a car, and not maintain it. So this is one of them videos, I see things on Facebook and all this, poor quality, it's not poor quality, it's lack of maintenance. So, excuse me ranting and raving, but it drives me nuts sometimes. Thanks for watching the channel, please subscribe, uh, many more helpful videos, but if you need any help on water ingression or advice, or anything like that, give me a call. Paul from CCRV, over and out.